Yo, what's up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, and I'm back again with another short and simple episode because like i'm seeing whatever that is going on so many of you out there are making videos about me chinese people are making videos about me white people are also making videos about me even africans are making videos about me some of them are telling me that you are so funny come on i have lived in china and whatever i'm saying right now in my videos is based on my experience in china i will never come in here to propagate lies some of you are saying that I'm becoming an anti-China YouTuber. Yo, I don't even have time to speak about China because like I said, I had a positive experience in China. That does not mean that when something is happening which is wrong, I should just keep quiet. When I was in China, when Chinese people use Africans as animals in Wuhan, I was the first black dude to speak against it. I was living in China during Chinese New Year when Chinese use the Chinese woman to represent herself as a black woman what Maya, you see here spoke against it when I was in China and I realized that a lot of Chinese doing illegal mining in Ghana I came all the way from China came to Ghana filmed the video about it and Ghana started arresting Chinese people doing illegal mining I was the same guy so what shows that now i'm in africa i cannot talk about it stop saying things that you don't know i mean i just only want two things to happen between africa and china if they really want to work together there should be transparency and what a mutual respect africans respect chinese people and the chinese must respect africans as simple as abc what a maya is not an anti-china youtuber or whatever you call me i've seen people comparing me with sepenza and lawai 86 yo we are two different people all together i've been i've been in africa talking about africa to the world preaching about positivity about africa they are doing still doing china content this china content that i'm talking about is about my people it's about something that i've experienced when i was in china yo the people who are giving me the information are living in China. Do you know that I even have Chinese journalists who are not happy about what is happening, but they cannot talk about it. And they give me the info what is happening in the various TV stations, bro. Don't joke with me. If you don't, if you think that I, I, I'm sitting here just making things up, you really don't know what you're talking about. Did you guys watch this video that went viral, the pregnant woman? Did you guys see this video? She's pregnant. You don't attend to foreigners. Where we come from is how you have to treat us. Three days ago, the message that I received from someone living in China after this video went viral. There's a guy who was uh, <laughs> denied uh, hospital care for him and his wife in Dongwan. So they made a video, of course it went viral and everyone tried to care about it. Then that's when uh, people's cries began, you know, raising alarms. That's how we came to where we are today. Now the Chinese government approached him and told him uh, they're going to take him to the hospital, give him free antenatal, uh, free, uh, even they suggest that he deliver from China because his wife too pregnant to go on the plane. They take care of everything, do shopping for him, but he must make video praising them. He must be a sellout. I got this message three days ago and I didn't want to talk about it. I was like, I mean, enough of talking about China because China is not ready to tell Africans that we're sorry for treating your people this way. So they always want to push what the propaganda out there that no you know what nothing happened everything that happened was just a rumor everything that happened was false there's nothing like false whatever happened was real it was happening all you need to do and say oh it was a miscommunication we are so sorry that this happened please forgive us and if you want to continue the relationship you continue but don't be paying people or don't go to people to come out to bring a propaganda video just to push your agenda come on it, it, it doesn't make sense hi hello. hello we are thankful for the government services the hospital services we have come here for medical care and uh, we have tested everything the blood we have done all the checks we need and they're actually taking us for shopping 
we are going to do shopping. Yeah, basically, and we are very happy. Happy for the government services. Our baby safe, and we are happy for now. They had no choice than to be sell out. This happens when an African government fails to protect and defend its people. And I just don't know what China will gain from pushing all these propagandas. The thing that will make us believe that this thing never happened? No way. The Africa you know before is not the Africa you know now. We have social media and most of us are waking up. My name is Wadamaya, an African-based YouTuber. If today is your first time seeing this face, don't forget to like this video. Share and let them know that we are seeing their true colors. Enough of the propagandists.